A grave for a young woman who perhaps did not have to die. Everybody helps. The burial plot is for Venaranda Zanga. She was just 17 years old and lived in the small village of Iniho in Tanzania. Uh, these are people living with HIV and AIDS from the village called Ilio in Makete districts in Tanzania. They are here to build the, uh, a grave for um, a young girl called Venelanda who died uh, one year ago. And this girl was living with HIV and AIDS and she was on ARV for three years uh, because of um, poor care and um, uh, no one was taking care of her properly and then there was <coughs> problem with the treatment and then she died. It takes two days by car to reach the village of Iniho in southwestern Tanzania from the capital Dar es Salaam. That also means that good medical care is far away. But that wasn't always the case. <laughs> In 2006, I was uh, employed to work in uh, the Lutheran Hospital, Blonga Lutheran Hospital in Makete District. I was working in the HIV and the AIDS clinic, and we were treating patients. By then, we have admitted, we had uh, registered more than 600 uh, patients. And uh, when I was working in the hospital, I realized that there were money which were donated from Western by different church missions, and this money were being misused. When we were protesting, the bishop ordered the hospital administration to throw us out of the hospital, me and the other seven workers. An Austrian doctor was among those who were no longer allowed to work in the hospital. Dr. Rainer Brandl has returned to Tanzania after a four-year absence. He procures medication for his former colleagues who have joined forces to found an AIDS self-help group. One problem today is that healthcare resources related to personnel, education and knowledge are not present. Many resources just disappear, are stolen and then healthcare facilities don't function because there is no interest in them. The criticism that funds from the West disappear in Africa is nothing new. The population is always the one to suffer. A reunion with former patients. The joy is big. The song evokes solidarity forever. Together we are strong. Let us join hands, then we will win. Some 200 people living with HIV are part of the self-help group. We fight for their rights.
the non-governmental organization Puma, was born in the year 2005. Some of the members want to show the Austrian guests a new center. They built it themselves. It is to be the new home. Funds are still missing to completely furnish it. The people here are poor. Membership in the Puma group costs 60 euro cents per year. It may not sound like much, yet some have to save for it. Like in many countries, people in Tanzania often shun those living with HIV. But through the availability of ARVs in Tanzania and the awareness spread by those who have come out as HIV positive, the social situation of AIDS patients has improved. Some 1.4 million people live with the HIV virus in Tanzania. That represents 6 to 7 percent of the population. Makete is believed to have a far higher infection rate and is considered one of the worst affected districts. People often want to hide their illness, not this man. This is Kabuyo Kiando, chairman of Puma. He was my first patient. He was the first to let himself be tested back then and said, I have HIV and that is no problem. He then started an antiretroviral treatment. When he protested against the thefts in the hospital, he was thrown out of the hospital with the whole group, the treatment team and myself. When Dr. Reiner had to leave us, we felt like orphans. Now he has come back. It's like we get to see our father again after a long time. That makes us happy.